Hello. I had a few questions about the Department of Mental Health, and I was hoping you would answer them. Uh, I had a few questions about the Department of Mental Health, and I was hoping you would answer them. Okay, well, this is actually the clerk's office, the mental health clerk's office. We're not the Department of Mental Health. You're not? No. We're the clerk's office of the court, mental health office of the court. The mental health office of the court. We handle mental health petitions, but we're not... We don't provide any medication or doctors. Or no, no, no. I understand that completely. Okay. Okay. And uh, what do you do? Well, uh, say for instance, somebody acts out, and police have to take them to Saint Elizabeth for one of the mental health facilities. Then, by law, that facility has to file a petition with the court requesting that the judge okay that person for the hospital to keep that person and for the person to be medicated or whatever. So. Uh, it's basically an office where hospitals sent requests for people to be uh, admitted. Yes, yes. And that's where you would get the information. More information is, is you know, as far as what type of services are provided for mental health patients and stuff like that. We wouldn't be the office to handle that. We're pretty much the go-between between the hospital and you know the court. So. A hospital makes a motion or request for someone who has been uh, hospitalized or somebody who needs to be hospitalized, hospitalized right. uh, through this office. Right. And your office send that information to to the judge. We forward that to the judge. We assign an attorney. We forward it to the judge. You assign the judge. an attorney. Yes. From our attorney roster, we assign an attorney to that person. We submit that to the judge. The judge either says yes or no whether they can keep the person or whether they have to let the person go. And once if, if they decide that, uh, yes, the hospital can keep that person, then that person now has an attorney to represent them. And the hospital can hold them for a seven-day period and do whatever they feel that they need to do. I see. Okay. That's pretty much our part of it. Okay. Um, how about... Uh, a request for medical records. Do you hear those types of issues? Request for medical records? Yes. Well, we don't really have the medical records. We have a petition that was initially filed with whatever information the hospital gave us. The hospital would have the medical records. The facility, whatever facility that person is at, would basically have those records. The hospital would have those records. But, uh, for example, if someone wishes to access records of someone who's going to the hospital, for example, they would not be able to do so? Or someone who is inside a hospital? Uh, it's the question. Now, what, what type of records are you actually talking about? Medical records. That would also be with the facility. The facility, the medical facility would be the ones that would have the medical records. How about history? Well, as far as history, well, if a person has more than one more than one case, or if they have multiple cases over a period of time, we would have a record of that. Yes. You would have records of that. Yes. And uh, could someone uh, request for those records? Uh, yeah, that's public information. Yeah. So yes, they could. They could request for the patient's history records. Uh, yeah. And uh, which patients? Uh, History record could somebody request in a hospital? No, that would be the request. Say, from us, they would be able to get whether or not this person has a mental health case or how many mental health cases this person might have had over a period of time. That's the information we could provide. So, this would apply to any hospital in the U.S.? No, no, no. We're just dealing with D.C., strictly D.C. Okay. Each jurisdiction has their own setup. This, this is just for DC. But we wouldn't some, be able to access Maryland or Virginia or anywhere else. So it's just a request for access of records for people who may have been in the hospital in DC. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. You've answered all my questions. Okay. Thank you. All right. Have a good day.